Hi everyone, this video is going to be a long one and it is kind of with my whole Throwback Thursday themes that I've been doing. I've done quite a few recently and I really, really enjoy doing them. I think you all really like them. So this video is going to be a Throwback Thursday to a haul I did in September 2014. So it's been a whole year um, and this is a giant haul. I mean, I have I bought so many products this. Now I say that and I'm going to be honest, this year... Um, I'm waiting for a couple of things, but you're about to get another giant haul. Labor Day sales, you know, what are you going to do? You just got to buy things. You just got to. So, um, that being said, let's get into it. Uh, a lot of these products I have done individual reviews on, so I'll go ahead and link any of those below. I'll mention if I have. And um, some of these were even mentioned in that favorites video. I feel like I should have done this and then done the favorites, like, you know, hindsight being 2020 and stuff. So if you um, haven't seen my Throwback Thursday of that favorites, I'll leave it below too. So um, the first one is this Kat Von D Esperanza palette. If you have been a subscriber to my channel for really any length of period of time, then you know how much I love it. It's one of my all-time favorite makeup products. Eyeshadow is my favorite type of makeup, and this palette is just beautiful. I know you might look at it and be like, I don't know what I could do with it, but to me, in my like personal opinion, I just get inspired every single time I pick this up. I have a new look, and I just love, 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 love this whole palette, and I can't say enough good things about it. Um, I swatched it a million times, and just recently, so I'm not going to swatch it if that's all right with you guys. Where do I put it now? All right. Um, next, I, I got these three lipsticks, which were a huge deal last summer, if y'all remember. These were the Sephora Rouge lipsticks, and I got them in three shades. This is the shade Samba, which is a super neon-y, coral -y, but very orange. And these are all three matte. They're slightly drying, but nothing to wear. I feel like it's super uncomfortable and you can't wear it. This is the shade Flamingo, which is um, a medium, slightly warm tone pink. Again, very matte and very bright. And this one's probably my favorite. It's the shade Hot Bikini. If I remember correctly, this was in um, my September favorites. And it's a purpley pink shade. And super pigmented, super matte, super bright, super wonderful. Still love these. However, you can't tell that I love them because a ton of pro uh, I haven't done, made a ton of progress on them. Again, it has been a year since I hauled these things. So you would think that... There would at least be some good divots or anything. Not in these. Next is this Radiant Orchid. Um, so that was the color of the year for 2014. And this is the Sephora and Pantone Universe collaboration. It's this eyeliner. It is a brush tip. It's a little bit goofy, but it was like that when I first got it. So don't think anything. And it's weird because when I think of Radiant Orchid, I think of a really bright pinky purple shade. And this is really like a kind of somber mauvey shade um i have worn it recently on, in one video uh look that i actually really liked but it's not super defining like you know when you have a dark eyeliner like what i have on now it really defines your eyes this shade doesn't so much but i do like it it's definitely unique in my collection i don't have anything else like it at all so like that and then i had some um because this was some online orders at Sephora. Yes, I have a list to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I had some samples, and um, I'm just going to kind of quickly go through those, if that's all right with y'all. Um, the YSL Fusion Ink Foundation, that was fine. Um, I liked it, but to me, it's pretty much the exact same thing as this foundation, which is, which is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, which is a liquid. It's like powder suspended in a liquid, which is why it kind of looked gross. Don't worry. Um, and I really like this foundation a lot. So I liked that YSL Fusion Ink. I thought it was beautiful finished, but it, it's kind of the same thing. So why would I spend that money? Next, this is the only one I still have. This is the Josie Marin um, Argon Infinity Lick in Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. Creamy oil is what, right. I mean, it is really creamy and viscous and kind of tacky. I do have it on today, but you have you can't use it alone. You have got to set it with... Um, a powder. I have a blush over it and I can still kind of feel the tackiness. So I don't love that product. Um, Diva Curl Ultra Creamy Conditioner. It was really nice. It was soft. Um, I think it helped my curls, but I don't really remember. And it's kind of expensive. And y'all know I love my Totally Twisted. Um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. Oh, I have used that up and I really want it back. 
Um, I'm probably going to end up getting a full size of that relatively soon. My favorite perfume of all time. DKNY, my New York uh, perfume. It was too florally and like perfumey for me. I like this deeper sensual scent. And then you get the, if you spend $25 on um, Sephora's website, you get the deluxe size samples. One of the ones I got, and this is, y'all might judge me, and that's okay. This was the Dior Addict It Lash. It is a very small sample. Now, I didn't open this at the time, and I still haven't, because, well, let me just show you. These are the mascaras that I have open right now. I, when I first started my channel, I just opened everything and wanted to try it all out. And you just can't do that. And so I'm really trying to make it through those and then only have like one, maybe two open at a time. So I still haven't tried this out a year later. That The same thing goes for um, this, which was like a, a little duo set. Um, and it has the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I really, really want to try. That's Kanga, not a ghost. Don't fret. Um, but I can't justify opening it because I... Um, I have so many other open. It also came, that like was a little duo for like $12 if I remember correctly, with this, which is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Eyeliner in Perfect Black. This did make it to my monthly favorites. The I have on the brown one, which I'm going to haul in just a second, or rehaul, whatever. Um, these are super, super dark, super pigmented. They last really long. They're really creamy. They're great eyeliners. I really, really like them. However, sometimes they get, they do like bunch into my inner corner and once or twice they like ended up on my cheek somehow. I'm not really sure how that's happened. Do not use the almond. Himbo, no. This morning I woke up to him eating. I only have one like strapless bra and it's also my only like neutral bra that you can wear under anything and not show. And I woke up this morning, and it, it was a little, it's been over a year since I've had it. Stop! But, um, I woke up this morning, and it had been eaten. Thank you, Hip Campus. So, I'm already having a fight. Um, so, those two came in a set. I, again, haven't tried the mascara. Really like the eyeliner. Alright, then I had the Give Me Some Lip Set, which came with six products. I did do a full-on review of that set, um, so I'll link it below. It came with this full-size Smashbox lip gloss and pout. I do have this on a little bit over my Sonia Kasha lipstick that I'm trying to use up. This is a really milky white, not super opaque lip gloss. It's right there. I don't know about it. Like, it's just so light. You definitely, I, I, I could definitely not wear it by myself. I don't like super light lip glosses, so it's okay. Um, next was this Bite Beauty Lip Pencil. What is it called? High Pigment Pencil in the shade Meritage, Meritage. It's like Heritage with an M. Now, I have gotten a decent amount of use out of this guy. So you can see slightly, you know. That palette I've only used a couple times. Stop, Hippo. Um, but this shade is really pretty. It's like a, like a dusty rosy shade with some red in it. I really like that shade. Um, I use that a lot, especially come fall. I think it's perfect for fall. Um, next was the Marc Jacobs Lust for Lacquer Lip Vinyl in the shade Kissability. I did pan that, actually. Five by fall? Five, six? No, not five by fall. I don't know. One of my, like, project pans, I panned it and I used it up. So, that's gone, which is exciting. Um, and I didn't love it. It wasn't that pigmented. It had, like, a minty, sweet thing going on. And it was, like, mauve with some gold glitter. Not one of my favorites. Um, next is this Buxom Lip Gloss in White, White Russian. Haven't gotten a ton of use out of this, which is sad because I know how hyped it is. And it's a really pretty milky pink. It's just, I like a darker lip shade. And it's still slightly too light for me, but it's, it's definitely wearable and it's, it's pretty decently pigmented for a gloss. Next was the, um, NARS Lip Gloss. I really, I have two of them and I love these. This is in the shade Orgasm. Look at that shade. It is super pigmented, super cool, gold glittery, but you don't really feel the glitter on your lips. And last but not least is this little bitty baby mini lipstick, which I have used. Um, it's one of the Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks in the shade Naked. It's a really nice, like, neutral, light pinky nude. So I do like it. I just... The, this These videos are really telling to me, like... I've had these things for a year, and I've only used up a couple of them, and a lot of the things I've used up were, like, sample sizes. 
but that's why I do it. So this is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Really like this. Um, I really like the cheek products. It is the blush, highlight, and contour I have on today. Um, I hate the packaging only because they didn't write the names of it. So I still have that plastic thing. Um, this blush is Unleashed Champagne Park Avenue Princess. They're great. The eyeshadows are also pretty decently pigmented. They're just like more neutral shades. I wouldn't like, they're really pigmented and they're beautiful. I like the way they apply. They're just kind of things that you could probably find somewhere else, but these cheek products are great. And this was limited edition, but it's available again. And I, I think they're great. I really do like this little disc. Next is something I'm not such a big a fan of. I've done quite a few Tarina Tarantino overall um, product reviews of quite a few of her products. And so I'll link them below. But this is the Doll Skin Blush Palette. It didn't come... Well, yo, I'm sweating. It is hot. I get so hot when I'm filming. Um, it came with the names of each blush on the back of the box. Like, not on the back of this. Like, on the actual box. So I just wrote them in. And these are nice. I have, I use the shade Carved Rose. It's a nice cool tone pink. A lot. But they're not ridiculously pigmented. They're, there they are. They're not ridiculously pigmented. And I think they're really patchy. Like, I don't think they wear off well. I use them, but if you want like a long wearing nice blush, these aren't my favorite. I got this Tarina Tarantino Doll Skin Eye Primer, which was actually in my August 2015 favorite. So I still really do like it. It doesn't cancel out too much, but it's really great, especially if you're putting a cream shadow over it. Today, I don't have a cream shadow over it, and I think it works better if you do. I think it's really great to cling onto a cream. Powder eyeshadows, it works well with, but not as great. Um, and last but not least is this guy, which is in my opinion a big dud. This is the uh, Trina Tarantino Sparkalicity in the shade Opal. Now it's a gorgeous, I hope y'all can see the green shift. It is a white glittery thing with this giant green shift, but it doesn't, no matter what I use, what kind, I could use like, I feel like super glue and it just doesn't stay on my eyelids. It, I just doesn't ever work the way I want it to work. It's got a lot of green in it so you could not use it as a um, cheek highlight and it's just it's okay but it, I want it's never whenever I use it it doesn't give me the look I want so it's it's very disappointing to me all right and last but not least uh, was a big Too Faced haul they had a um, they have really good sales when it's time to uh, on Labor Day I actually have that I the reason I haven't done my haul yet is because I'm waiting for my Too Faced order I got this which I have done a full review on I know and this is the Too Faced Bronze in the Beautiful palette. It comes with Chocolate Soleil, Powdered Sun, Sun Bunny, and Snow Bunny. I know that everyone raves about Chocolate Soleil. And I, I don't get it. I don't get the hype. It's just, it's fine. But I don't think it's as great as everyone wants it to be. This Powdered Sun is chunky. I mean, it's real pretty. But it is very chunky. And then I use Sun, no, Snow Bunny kind of a lot as like just an overall bronze. But Sun Bunny is really dark. And it doesn't look like there's that much of a difference. But when I put on Sun Bunny as an overall bronzer, I look like I was trying, I, lo I look bad. So this kit's fine, but I don't know. I, it's not one of my favorites. I was pretty disappointed with it. Um, and then I got a little kit and I did have a giveaway in this video. Um, and it was a kit of these, and I have done a full review of this little set. I'm afraid my iPad's going to die, so if you're like, Becky, you can calm down. That's why. Um, I'm talking kind of quickly. This is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Eyeliner in the brown shade. This is what I have on today. Look at that pigment, and the black has been, I mean, you see how much I've been rubbing my hand. It is so pigmented and beautiful. Again, I do have it on today, and it's in my waterline as well. It stays, I really like these. Um, then I had the Bonjour Beautiful Lip Quad. I tried to grab for this, but I don't know. This gold shade is just gold glitter, which is weird. Why did my lighting just mess up? Um, it's just gold glitter, which is weird. Then it has these two glosses, which are 
kind of shimmering, especially that one. And then it's a lipstick, which is actually pretty similar to the Meritage shade. It's a Dusty Rose. So that's pretty. I mean, I like it. It's just, I never grab for lip quads. I don't know. Maybe I'm a minority in that. I feel like I should get more use out of it. But it's fine. It's just not one of my favorite things. And the star of it was, that, that little set was the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. And I have done a review of it and even a tutorial, which I don't really do tutorials very often. I am using this today. These shades are really pretty. So I'm using um, this pink fresh linen on the lid. The dark purple is my shadow softy that I'm trying to get through. I have tufted suede in the crease like as my blending shade and then I have vintage violet. My two favorite shades are pebble and vintage violet. They're like dusty murky shades but they're so pretty. So pigmented, really nice quality. Too Faced is probably my favorite high-end brand. Love this. So I really hope you all found this video helpful. There will be a lot of links down below in case you want to check any of these um, videos that I've done regarding this these products out um, as well as my haul playlist in case you want to see some more hauls and my throwback Thursday playlist because I really really enjoy doing these videos and I think y'all have enjoyed it too so let me know if you have any questions requests comments suggestions any of that down below because I love to hear from y'all it's my favorite part about doing YouTube um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all real soon bye